So I was thinking, if I can disassemble weapons, can I put them, like, mix and match them? Like, if I disassemble this, so I have... Okay, so if I do... If I do that... So I change the handle, and I change... And I put that with this handle. Can I assemble that? Oh, so I can. So what does that do? So that... Ooh! It changes the entire moveset. So it's more of a slash, but it's a quick slash. And that's more of a... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really, really cool. Oh, that's, that's, that is, that is really, really cool. I like that level of customization. Oh, that's going to be really fun, collecting different types of weapons and seeing how they interact with each other. That's going to be, that's going to be an adventure. But let's move on. So we're heading to City Hall, Kratz City Hall. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Now, because we actually lost quite a bit of health off of that, and it's way too early to have been losing that much health, I'm just going to kind of re refresh the area through the Stargazer, and that's it. Just pretend all of that never happened. Yeah, I'm not a professional, so I, I really, I'm really not looking to be. Oh god, this is, this is. Oh god, this is really bad. I'm definitely not a professional. Oh no! Oh, oh, stop! Stop! The brother of Mianos. Melipnos. <laughs> It's a Centurion from Skyrim! <laughs> it's fucking Todd! Excuse me? Oh, wait. I wanted to take a sip of water, but that's gonna have to wait. Okay, now we hydrate. Where's my water bottle? Here it is. Ah. Hydration. Very important. For making sure that my dulcet tones come across. Exactly as intended. <laughs> and boom, 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 boom. Oh, I broke his sword? Oh, that's gangster. So if you parry enough, you can break the, their weapon and then their poise? Is that how it works? Oh, I missed the, the turn. Oh, that's really cool. Do they deal... So, would they deal less damage? Because the sword is technically broken. So it's not as effective. I wonder. That'd be quite the interesting concept. I don't think this opens, does it? Oh, it does open. Cool. And that takes us back to the Stargazer? Yes, it does. Awesome. Mr. Venigny's ambition to make a jolly police mascot puppet for City Hall ended in failure. His passion to make a trustworthy friend for the citizens and a strong officer who overpowers criminals was in the right place, but turned out to be excessive. The new police officer's puppet's overcharged storage battery exceeded its capacity, causing chain explosions, malfunctions, and serious body damage. Yeah, I'm not a professional, so I, I really, I'm really not looking to be... Oh god, this is, this is, oh god, this is really bad. I'm definitely not a professional. <laughs> Look, if you're here for something a little more clean cut, it's not gonna happen, man. I'm just a dude. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a guy playing the video game, <laughs> trying to make it work. <laughs> I'm just a puppet. You think I can afford a decent graphics card? How dare you! <gasps> Boss battle! 
Awaken Inspector. No. Come on. No. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, 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 that, oh lightning. Lightning. It's a gargoyle. I'm calling it. It's a gargoyle. No, it's not. It's better than a gargoyle. It's it's Murphy. <laughs> it's goddamn Murphy. God, that's kind of cool. Oh no, it's not Murphy. It's a, a scrapped watchman. How am I parrying through the lag? <laughs> Do you know what it is? I've realized what it is. This is an AMD game. They made it very clear this is an AMD game. It doesn't appreciate that I'm using an NVIDIA card. Ah. Ah. Oh God. Okay, we're back bigger and better ready to take on Murphy I know he's called the scrapped watchman but in my eyes that's Murphy he is Murphy the Murfmeister Murfendo Murf M M Murfington Murftacular Murfnito Murph Xavier. <laughs> oh, here we go. The Murph Meister. I could go back and level up, actually. Now that I've got my echoes. Should I do that? I probably, I probably should, but at the same time, I don't have to go in and get my echoes. So I could teleport back at any time. Ah, let's just do it. We're okay. Murph. Fuck. What? But I dodged. go. Now we're getting into it. There we go. Come on, Murphy. Okay, phase two. Okay. I'm shocked. What does that do? What, what, what's going on here? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> back up, back up! What the fudge is going on here? Oh no! 
First off, rude. <laughs> Extremely rude. Second of all, what the fuck? Oh, that was amazing. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, that chick shock time. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Fuck, wrong button. Wrong button. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lightning. <laughs> Lightning. This is not going to be fun. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Maybe if he continues, maybe if, if Murphy continues to give me more problems, then I will summon a spectre just to see what that's like. Is it a player? I doubt it's a player. This doesn't seem like a multiplayer game. So it might just be an NPC, but we'll see. Come on, Murph. You and I, buddy. Oh, I didn't realize that was the grab. My fault. Oh, he eats me. Can't do that. I'm not into war. I keep forgetting the, the animation cube for that. Whoopsies. That's it. I'm dead. <sighs> okay, not too bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there, so... Right, if he drags his hand back and waits for a few seconds, he's doing the grab. That's something I need to keep a mental note of. But generally, the, the parry windows, I like them. They're a bit weird when you first come across them, but I like them. Use a star fragment. See who we get, or what happens. And then we enter. Right? Spectre. Ooh, it's just another version of me. There we go. Okay, I didn't expect it to be that easy. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using summons again. Uh, thank you for your help, but let's let's never meet again. <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That kind of just felt really, really strong, like overtuned. I, I don't I don't know how I feel. I, I don't. It's just weird. Um, I have 11,000 ergo, though. That's at least 11 upgrades, I think, because it's 1,000 right now. That's that's pretty good. Uh, whatever the cause, the company is responsible for it. Okay. Lorenzini. See, is it Italian? Is it French? I don't know. I feel like it's Italian, okay? This is a walk through Italy. Let's head back to the hotel, do some upgrades. Screw it. 
I know we just left the hotel. That, I don't know how I feel about that, man. I don't deserve this. <laughs> I don't deserve to be at this stage right now. That was... That was way too easy. It was harder when it was just me, but... I don't know. Oh, she's in a different place now. Sophia. My lady. I require help. You saved Geppetto. I did. Wonderful. Hmm. He is on the second floor. Hmm. He can hardly wait to see you. Indubitably. I'll use my power to help. Level me up. My lady. So. That's freaking gnarly. Yeah, that's a lot of... That's a lot of points. I can bump myself up by 33. Should I just do that? <laughs> Should I just... Because look. Like, vitality is not that big of a deal because I can parry. I'm just gonna bump up. I'm just gonna bump this up. That seem that might seem like the worst decision in the world, but it's done. It's done. Look, you can't die if you kill things quickly. Hmm. That's my logic. Hmm. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm telling lies. I don't tell lies. That's the whole point. I don't lie. Is, is Papa in here? <gasps> Papa! Whoa, this is actually a really nice room. This is a really nice room. It really has that Baroque aesthetic going on. What's this? Anatomy. A brain. And a bust. <gasps> the brother of Mianos. Melipnos. <laughs> Uh, what's this? Ooh, an alchemy chair. Ooh, this looks like the chair I was in. But, Papa. Uh, you've returned. I have. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Forgiven. Do not even Always think about it anymore, Father. That you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets my friend the inventor venini went to stop them venini that's how you say it please go save him and shut down the factory at once papa p organs are the source of your powers collect quartz to get the strength you need Remember, the hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. Okay, P organs. Use the P organ slots to activate your character's latent abilities. Uh single group. Each time as soon as you have two effects. Next step is unlocked. Okay, I don't understand a single piece of what I've just read. So I'm a puppet, and puppets canonically cannot lie. Makes sense. But what's so bad about me being able to lie? Why did all that red stuff happen when I lied about getting into the when I lied about getting into the hotel. I said I wasn't a puppet. Clear lie. Cause, effect. But then it said my gears are... Something about my springs were turning... Maybe rusting, maybe becoming evil, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to lie. Right? I'm not supposed to lie. So what's, what's the big deal about a puppet being able to lie? Everybody seems to know that I'm a puppet, and yet they know nothing about my ability to lie. Seems very suspicious to me. But it doesn't matter, I'm not here to ask questions. I'm here to kill puppets. I'm here to save Papa. And I'm here to free the city. From themselves. Use the city hall courtyard. We still have time to explore this wonderful world. 
Ergo is life. Chamber of Machina Workshop. Are you the next Venigni? Maybe. Oh, we're no longer in Italy. We're in London. Venigni works. Everything you see here belongs to Venigni. Good old smog. Classiest playboy and most brilliant inventor in Krat. Just ask him. Not puppets. Almost every machine and tram in Krat is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Ah, I wish we could find him. That is, if he's still kicking. I bet he's an asshole. I just get that feeling that he is. But oh, look at that. Oh, that does look good. Buy the miracle medicine here. The miracle alchemist, Clark Shaw, also known as Dr. Cure All, has succeeded in making a cure for the horrible plague that has spread through Krat. Made from unicorn- oh, okay. Blood of a two-headed snake and boiled down mandrake. He's tested it himself and confirmed that it completely cures the plague. The blue plague is not a divine curse. Don't be afraid anymore. Come and see Dr. Cure All, Clark Shaw. Prices may vary as it is a limited item. And you are redacted. Now sit in the corner and reflect upon your actions like a good boy. <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> Ow! Oh no. Man, commentary is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Oh, I've been grouped. Check this out. <laughs> this is really giving me, um, like Bioshock vibes. Like, really heavy Bioshock vibes. There's always a company like this managed by someone. Like Fontaine Industries. Or Fontaine Futures. You know, uh... What's the, what's the place in Infinite? There's a, there's literally a, a mill, like a, like a factory. Um, in Bioshock Infinite. It's exactly the same. It just feels exactly the same. Um, I think we can still go. Just a little bit more. Get out if you're not a stalker. That does not look good. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. It's like something's gonna jump out any second. Don't jinx it, Jiminy. Jiminy's looking out for you. Stop it, Jiminy. Come on. I got baited. Well, I have the amulet that does more damage to puppets. Ooh, cartridge. So that's a converter cartridge. There we go. So that's ah, okay, resistances. That's pretty good. Okay, cool.
So this is where all the puppets are made. Interesting. Totally not creepy in any way. Dear Mr. Venigny, as per your orders, I conducted a quality investigation on the ergo supplied by the alchemists. Of course it was done secretly. Certainly, the quality of ergo is getting worse over time. I don't know why my accent has changed, but I don't doubt the alchemists, but the decrease in quality is too widespread to call it a coincidence. Nicola. Probably not the right accent for a Nicola. A Nicola is more like this. It's more European, more, uh, more Soviet, more, uh, you know, of that sort of dialect. I do not doubt that the alchemists are behind this transgression. Oh no. Big fight? I'm guessing big fight. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a big fight. Repair this. Remember I have my arm still. I need to use that. Try and upgrade my variety. No boss fight. Maybe later boss fight. But for now... It is boss fight. <laughs> my expectations keep getting subverted. Oh my lord. Oh, it's a centurion from Skyrim. <laughs> it's fucking Todd. It's fucking Todd. He won't let me be. Todd, please. Please leave me alone. <laughs> It's a Devil May Cry arm. Yeah, it's a Devil May Cry arms. Okay, so it's double. So how do I... How am I gonna do this? Hmm. Okay, I keep forgetting there's another one around. I keep forgetting the second one. Okay. That's annoying. Um, that's really annoying. So, it's a shield type enemy. So, there's two approaches. We either parry and then break the poise. Or, we break it from the back. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's head back over there. See if we can get our... Our revanche. What's this? <gasps> it's a safe. Ooh. New weaponry. We'll rest here as well to get our health back. And now we'll head over back to that same point. What if I just run? Where does that take me? I just run I can just run but it will stop me from getting the drops <gasps> butterfly 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 motivity crank <gasps> nice I need that thermite cool so we're just gonna ignore the the centurion until Stargazer. Nice. Okay, cool. So we can just ignore the Centurion. And I think we'll just rest up at this. Yeah, we'll rest up here. And then we'll move on in the next episode, I guess.
because that's a pretty good chunk of stuff we've done. We defeated Murphy, we found Papa, we've obtained a lot of upgrades, personal and physical. And we're now going to go save Mr. Venigni. First I'm going to grab this item, and then we will call it a day. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> There's a trap. <laughs> but that's something for another day. So, from the middle of this tunnel, I thank you for watching and for taking this journey again with me. Um, it's picking up, yeah. I'm, I'm slowly, I'm enjoying the game. Definitely was having a lot more fun now that I'm sort of getting the timing down for the parrying and stuff. The weapon system of being able to chop and change weapons is actually really cool. I'm pretty sure the bosses might be getting tougher, but I know now not to use spectres unless I absolutely have to, because spectres just made the watchmen so much easier. Why is that red? Ah, it's because you're following me. Go away. Go away. Okay, done. So before I drag on too much, cheers for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode when we find Mr. Venigni.